Hey, what's up guys? Matt here with Fix Anything Save Money. Today we're going to be walking you through this Kaiweets multimeter. This is model KM601S. If you guys subscribe to the channel and check out my other video, I do another review on the Kaiweets model number KM602 multimeter. So they also sent me the 601S. I'm going to be walking you through this and showing you how to use it. So yeah, we'll get right into the unboxing. You can see it comes with this nice case. Very similar to the KM602. However, this one has buttons on the interface where the other one is just a screen with buttons on the side. So we'll take it out. You guys can take a look at it and see. And then at the bottom of the box is the instruction manual. So I'm just gonna be going over a few features of this multimeter and then I'm probably gonna make individual videos on how to test for all different types of things. So we'll walk you through all the stuff that this features though. So then inside the case, you can see we have our probes. Then we have our charger, it's a USB charger. It does not come with a uh, USB adapter for the wall. So you're gonna have to buy that if you wanna charge it from a wall. And then this is our temperature probe. So yeah, let's get right into how you use this thing. We'll show you how to charge it first. And to charge it, you're just gonna wanna undo this gray piece of rubber and then plug this end into your outlet or whatever you have to charge and then just put it in and you'll see it power right up. Gives you the battery percentage so you can see we're at 80%. And then we'll unplug it, turn it on. To turn it off and on, you just hold this power button for a couple seconds, turn it back on, hold it in. And you can see it powers right up. Now when you power this up, it defaults to auto mode and I'll show you what that is and then I'll show you how to get out of auto mode um, but really auto mode is probably good for, you know, a lot of applications you're going to be using. It's actually a really cool feature that they offer. So the first thing we're going to do, you can see we have just a little fuse and then a nine volt battery. So we're going to show you how to test the voltage. And then we're going to show you how to test the continuity. Then we're going to show you the uh, temperature setting. So if we're going to test voltage, you can see we're in auto and that little hand is just ticking up to these three green this is our voltage this is our resistance and this is our continuity so for these three measurements we're just going to undo these little plastic pieces and then we're going to put our black wire our black wire is going to go into the com port And then our red probe is going to go into the input. And now it's set up, ready to go. And the first, so the first thing we'll do is we're going to test this 9 volt battery. And you can see on normal multimeters, you would have to switch it over to, um, to DC or AC, depending on what you're measuring. This just automatically knows. So we'll show you. We'll just take a reading on this battery. And you can see it's reading 9.69 volts and it automatically switches over to DC. And then say we want to measure an outlet. We're just going to take these off and then we're going to measure the voltage of our outlet. Now when you do this, just a little side note, if you're new to using multimeters, you're going to want to hold them with one hand. The black is going to go in this neutral, and then the red is going to go on the hot. Okay, so we have our probes in, and we should be reading about 120 volts, and you can see we're right at 122.4.5. So we know our outlet's good if we're testing our outlet. 
And now we haven't even switched any dials. We haven't done anything. This is all in auto mode. So now we're going to jump right to testing our fuse to see if we have continuity, to see if our fuse is good. And if we have continuity, it'll beep. So you can see we have continuity in our fuse. And now I'll show you how to get out of auto mode. I'll just unplug these real quick and kind of show you the different settings. So like I said, that's voltage, the bottom, then it jumps up to resistance, then continuity, then we have our diode test, then we have our capacitance test, then we have millivolts, then we have our frequency, then we have our temperature, then we have our non-contact voltage tester, so we could test if wires are hot, and then we have our amperage settings. So you can see those are the settings that this offers. And then this also comes with a flashlight on the back. To turn the flashlight on, you just press and hold this button for about two seconds. You can see the flashlight turns on. And then to turn it off, we just press and hold this button again for two seconds. Flashlight turns off. Then we have our max min buttons, our range. And now if you want to get out of auto, you're just going to press this red button. And that's going to take it out of auto mode and let you select individual settings. So you can see right now we're in volts DC. So if we want to change that to volts AC, we would hit the select button that switches it over to AC. And then we could go through and I'll show you the temperature real quick. So you can see it shows the temperature in Fahrenheit and Celsius. So it's 69 degrees. Fahrenheit in this room, 20 degrees Celsius. And then if you're using these probes, you use them the same way. We're gonna plug our red into our input and our black into COM. And then we could test. You can see there's a little probe right there. Let's just test our skin temperature. And you can see it going up. And then when I release my finger, you can see it going down. So that's just testing the surface temperature of my fingertip. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is the non-contact voltage tester. And for that, all we're going to do is take our red probe, put it into our input, and then we're going to switch over to NCV Live. So now we're in our voltage test. We could test to see if this outlet's hot, which I already know it is. And you could see it's coming up hot. So if you're swapping out outlets or you're doing any sort of electrical work, you know, people know how important a non-contact voltage tester is. Um, you always want to double check, even if you turn the breaker off and you're sure that the power's off you always want to just run it through you know turn this on or use a, a normal non-contact voltage tester that you're probably used to seeing and just always make sure you're testing being safe so you're not getting any shocks and yeah guys that pretty much sums up this multimeter this is the kiwitz model km601s if you guys have any questions on this be sure to leave them in the comments like i said i'm going to make individual videos on all these different settings um it would just be way too long of a video for right now so i'm going to make a each individual video for every setting and uh, really break it down for everyone and so yeah guys if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comments otherwise be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel it helps me grow it helps me create more content so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.